Hello again. Um, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to recalibrate another chronograph movement. This time, we're going to do um, a Japanese Miyota OS20. Now, um, this is probably the easiest movement to recalibrate. Um, again, um, I put the hands like this for the purpose of showing you how to recalibrate the watch. Now, I'm going to show you this, um, the different sub-dials on this watch. Now, of course, that is the hand for the seconds, the chronograph. That is a 60-minute totalizer for the chronograph. Right there, let me get this minute hand out of the way. right there at the six o'clock position that's your seconds and that one is a 24 hour indicator so right now it is showing you that it's noon so let me just show you how that works because some people don't understand how this hand works I'm gonna pull the crown all the way out and see when I change the time that hand starts moving. Okay. So it's basically like a AM PM indicator. So see as I'm getting closer to twelve o'clock, that's showing me that it's gonna be midnight. Of course twenty four hundred hours. see okay now let me just put the hands in like this now to let's go to recalibrate the chronograph now this is the easiest easiest movement to recalibrate the OS 20 so all you gotta do is obviously that's the second hand all you gotta do is pull the crown out to the last click one and two okay so let's first of all recalibrate the big second hand just press the top pusher one two now to recalibrate the sub dial at the nine o'clock position you just press the bottom there we go and we just push the crown all the way in and that's all there is to it so we just activate the chronograph pause or stop and then reset and all the hands line up that's the easiest chronograph movement to recalibrate. 